Here's how to play Dear Lover by Social Distortion. So first thing, you have to put a capo on the first fret. It's in standard tuning. Um, I think the easiest way to teach this is just going to be to just play along a little bit. Make sure you open up this um, tab in the description. This will help a lot. And then the solo, I kind of do it like this, but there's a few things I do different. Um, so let me make sure I'm in frame. The solo starts at 320. I'm just going to play the other sections real quick. Starts with this little weird note. So the intro is just um, E minor, C, and G like the bottom of it. And here is D. Just kind of like suss it out with sus4. So there's that. Keep going. Still do it. And it, end, and it ends on E minor. After that, it goes like E5, E5, then G5, so 355, and you just kind of hit the open strings between the chords, so. Zero, two, two. E5, 355 for G5. C5 is 355 right above it. And 2 over to the right is 577. And I'm saying that relative to the capo. So. So that's that. Go a little farther and then get to the solo. C5 C5 G5 It's still going, wait for the chorus C5 So then the next bar is pretty much the same, just a reorgan reordering of the chords, E5, C5, G5, you pretty much do the same strum pattern, so like, whoops, C5, E5, 0, 2, 2, C5, 3, 5, 5, G5, 3, 5, 5, D5, 577. So that's the whole song except for the solo. So the way to teach the solo, I think, is just to play it and then explain what I'm doing. I'll probably mess up a little bit because I don't have it fully down. I have it down pretty well. All right, so it starts at like 320. Thank you. 
messed up a tiny bit. So now I think I can remember it to teach it. Um, it's basically like this, you go. So you go two on this string, or third fret. You can look at the tab, it has the solo, and that helped me to start learning it, and there's some stuff I did different. So two, two, three. It's much easier, actually, to think about the absolute frets. So three, so not relative to the capo. Three, three, five to six, and then you slide into the next three on the A string. And then you go. So. the first phrase, so two, three, I mean, third fret, pretend this isn't here. Um, all right, three, three, five, six, slide into, from two to three, hammer on, and then, so six, six, eight, ten, eight, and you keep hitting this a few times, then you go. You do is you're here, and then you kind of bar up to this eight on the B string, and you go. Wait. I think I'm going like this actually. I'm doing it with the bar because you got to come from this end. Yeah, I'm doing. Hammer on to nine. So the whole thing so far. And then after that, you go to this note on the G string. So ten. And you hang out here. Slide your middle finger up to 13. I messed that up when I was playing along. It should go 13, up to 16, back to 11, 13, down to 11, 13, 11, 9 to 11. If you strum these two notes, it sounds more accurate. And then you go back to the beginning. You end on that. So let me see if I can play the whole thing one more time. So. There's more notes than I heard in the tabbed out solo, and so I sort of departed from it there. There's a few other spots, kind of small things I, after just playing along by ear. So anyway, that's it. I hope that was helpful to see. And that scale is definitely not a pentatonic scale. Like, it sounds more like a. It's got some minor. No, it has more notes in it than just straight pentatonics. It doesn't sound as bluesy as the other scale. Um, so anyways, hope that was helpful. If you got any more requests, let me know. Bye.